Okay, so now we're going to talk about another instruction, and that's going to be the negate. Okay, so if we talk about the compute, and we talk about you know the instructions for the the math and stuff of that nature, right? Uh, we're going to use generally speaking, there's going to be a one called a negate, right? Now let me show you how this works. So we're going to add another rung, and we're going to grab the negate feature, and let's just say we want to take the Fahrenheit and for some reason we want to turn it and flip it upside down right so what this is going to do is going to automatically take the value that's in that Fahrenheit the the tag we put in the source and it's going to load it in the destination it's going to be backwards it's going to be it's going to be actually negative so we're going to say that negative value and we're going to say uh, F degrees so Fahrenheit degrees now generally speaking you would not uh, need to do this for I'm just showing you an example right and I'll show you a real-world example again when we come down and, and I'll show you one running so then we just want to show you this real quick to show you how the instruction works so what this does is it automatically flips it backwards right so you might be questioning yourself, like, why would you even do that, right? So again, when it comes down to it, you don't, in this environment, what we're doing right here, you don't really need to do that. So I'm going to delete it. And let me show you a program that we do need it on. So in, in this program, we have one running right here, right? I have this program, and I want to run this side by side. So you can see this, and we'll get this. I'm going to get this size properly. So I'm going to get this size properly so you can see this side by side. And we're going to actually look at this program running. And I'm going to have drag this down. And I have a, uh, an actual application that I have running right now. And I'll show you this again side by side so you can see these. And we'll come over here. Now what happens is I have to measure the box from this sensor over here, which comes into the measurement. And what that happens is it measures the box in a positive demeanor, right? So it, from here to here to the top of the box is positive. And that's 321 degrees, or 321 in millimeters. But the movement of the pick and place head is going to be negative of that because it needs to contact the top of the box and not squish the box. So I take the box and then I change the value. I, I Basically, I'm changing the value right here and down here once the calculation is done I'm negating that value then I'm commanding it to velocity that velocity I'm commanding it to actually change the vertical position to pick that box up now this is again in a pick and place environment so this is a using a, a negate in a real world scenario and you see this is actually picking and placing so as this is working real quick I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, move these down so this does have a, a reject scenario so let me actually clear this out real quick and clear that out just real quick so that you, we can actually talk about this a little bit more and you can see this uh, this is a, a really good uh, training software that we we are currently working on and I want to actually kind of just show you in a real world scenario some of the real examples that we can actually go and, and use this on or use this type of stuff on so with that said let's go back and, and this mode and come over here and talk about this a little bit closer again so right here this pick and place right this pick and place right here that we're talking about it measures off of the sensor right here and then it comes down and this this pick right here has to come down and then it comes down to the top of the box and it wants you have to actually change the state so in this calculated value right here, I have to change it to a negative value so that when it comes down and contacts the top of the box, it contacts it properly. Now with that said, that is how you would actually use a negate. So I wanted to actually introduce you and show you how you would use that. Again, we will use this in many different programs coming, but I wanted to show you this in a real world working environment so you can see exactly how that is currently working. Now in the move it, movement outward, I'm not using a negate because I don't have to. Uh, but in this current value of seeing this actually working, reading the sensor to the top of the box is a positive. So that's a positive movement or a positive sensor. 
So when that comes down to it, that's a, a positive number. So I need to change that number because the movement here is opposite. So when I'm coming down contacting the top of the box, I don't want to go down too far. So I'm actually changing that to a negative number and the, the same value as I've read over here. So the, the distance did not change, but the movement of the function did of the actual part. So that's another illustration of using a negate. Kind of a complex scenario, but again, introducing you to using the negate and why you would properly use a negate function and a negate um, instruction. So with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.